Hey folks, how's it going? Robert here. Uh, I'm going to show you today how to make uh, homemade bread on an alcohol stove. Uh, this is just in a variation of a bannock recipe, so um, usually I carry two cups with me, or I'll have a 10 ounce soup can, works really well too. I have another cup, exactly the same as this, that nests inside of it um, with no handle on it. A 10 ounce soup can will fit in either one of these two cup cups or this one and three quarter cup. So, what I got is flour in this one. So, just all you do is add a bit of salt. Okay, you flavor it pretty much to your liking. The sugar, of course, you just take it like a teaspoon of sugar and put in there. Uh, I don't really measure too much of anything when I'm doing this. So, and you just basically mix the two together. Um, if you've got cooking oil, you can put a bit of cooking oil in there too. Uh, bacon powder, or you can use natural yeast. So, I'll put like a spoonful of bacon powder in there. A little bit less or something, a little bit more. Um, you stir it up. Stir it up and then you take about a cup of water. Well, it wouldn't be a cup. Anyway, I'll show you. Okay, so I have water here. And it's just regular tap water or water out of the brook. It doesn't matter. You'd be doing this in a bushcraft setting, right? So you just pour it in and start stirring it up until it forms into a ball. Uh, I'll show you as I'm doing it. Okay, so it's pretty much formed into a ball in there. Right? You should be able to handle this with your hands without it really sticking to you. So, and there's just some flour left over in the bottom. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Okay, so there it is. That's what it looks like when it's pretty much to the point where you can take it out. I'll show you. Okay, so you just knead it into a ball. Okay, so there's my bread dough ready to go. And there's my cup that nests inside my other cup, just like that. See how it works? So it fits right in. So, like this. So, all I'm going to do is I'll fill the stove up to its maximum level, which is about an ounce and a half of fuel. That's just to ensure that it, that it, uh, boils for the 20 minutes that it needs to cook because bread no matter what you do with it it takes about 20 minutes to cook so i'm gonna get that away from my alcohol i'm gonna get my stove fired up so there's my stove fired up i'm gonna grease my tin here a little bit with some butter and the wood you use whatever you can so there's my pan greased, and all I do is I take my bread dough, put it in, push it down a little bit so that it's pushed down and settled in the bottom of the pan. You see it comes up about halfway on the, on the rig. So you fill up your other cup about halfway with water. So you put about three quarters of a cup in it. Three quarters of a cup of water in it. Okay, what'll work? You drop something in the bottom like a couple of rocks in your double boiler. So I got my couple of rocks there in the bottom to 
raise it up the cup I guess is probably up this far see what happens when it boils now hopefully it won't boil over Still cooking away. We'll let it cool off. I took it out of the pot, out of the water. Um, we'll let it cool off until it, you can touch it. And then we'll empty it out. I buttered the top of it with a bit of butter. Um, so anyway, we'll give it a few minutes and then we'll check it out. Okay, let's check it out. What it looks like in the pot. Oh, look at that out pretty easy still pretty warm slice it and see what it looks like Still warm, hot, not actually warm, hot. Some butter. Get some jam. Try some jam on it. Pretty good. It's a bit thick, heavy, but all in all it's pretty tasty. Out in the woods this would be really good. Well, it's really good here. I'll tell you folks, this will definitely be enough bread to last you all day. You wouldn't have to worry about being hungry after eating it. Pretty good stuff.